we are above our River Giants exhibit, and today we are feeding the exhibit and also training our five Arapaima. We've been working for several years on getting our Arapaima comfortable uh, voluntarily entering a stretcher. The stretcher that we use looks like a big blue sling, like a tarp, but it's used so that we can safely and comfortably lift them out of the exhibit. One of the things that we want to be able to do with them is to get them used to being touched by humans, by uh, our hands, so that if our vet needs to see or feel something on their body to make sure that they're healthy, then they'll be able to do that comfortably. But the trick is that they're a little hard for us to actually reach from our platform to where they are in the water. So we got a little creative and we used an old Halloween decoration, a rubber hand that's been duct taped onto the end of a broomstick. And that gives us uh, three or four more feet of reach to actually be able to touch the fish when they're in the stretcher. Right now we have one fish who does it perfectly. He's very comfortable entering the stretcher on his own. He sees the stretcher go into the water and he comes right over, he's ready to train. We are able to feel all around his body, his belly side, his backside, around some of his fins, his tail, and then he's rewarded for that. And then he usually hangs out for another 30 seconds or so just in the stretcher waiting to see if he's gonna get more food. And then we give him another treat for um, staying in the stretcher calmly. He is our, our best at the behavior. We have a couple others that come around close or stick their head in. So they're getting a little bit more comfortable with it. They just need a little more time and encouragement. Training fish is different from training animals on land or in air. You have to sort of approach it in a different way. We're really restricted to being able to use food for their reward at feeding times when the rest of the exhibit is also fed. They just think differently than other animals do, so we have to use um, some basic training that's the same as for other animals, but then we have to sort of change our approach on how are we gonna communicate to the fish that they did something correctly, how are we going to, um, what we call, shape the behavior to eventually get to where we want them to be. So it has taken a long time, um, several years, and a lot of patience and a lot of commitment from us as trainers to get to where we are now. It benefits many animals that are of intelligence to participate in training programs um, because it keeps them mentally stimulated. It's keeping them um, engaged in their habitats. 